we've heard from a lot of people shooting out there about the the viewing challenges of the camera. Mm -hmm. One being the uh, um, the the, uh, the lack, lack of EVF. Of, of EVF. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what's the what's the deal? What's the deal so with the EVF? Here's, Where yeah. are they? I think there, there's a box somewhere. They're yeah, all, all stashed. Hidden. I got them all in my, you have them all. my the back corner of my house. Yeah. So, yeah, as you might imagine, uh, it's been a point of frustration. Um, I guess the best way to answer it is I've, I've uh, sent out, you know, when people send emails saying, Ted, we really need an EVF. We're shooting this big feature. We've got to have an EVF. We're shooting in the bright sunlight. And we're really frustrated. And, I, and my typical response is, you think you're frustrated. Imagine how I feel right now. We don't want to pe you know, people to have an incomplete solution. But because we've pushed this camera out at sort of this breakneck pace, um, there are things that have, have lagged behind our goals, our desires. One of the things I've been very, very clear about from the beginning of RED, and the beginning is only two years ago, so remember, we're, we're literally just like a week old in, right. in normal engineering terms, um, is that everything we do is based on engineering targets. As much as we've got a pretty interesting footprint in the world because of what the camera does and uh, the level of excitement that it's generated, we're not a sales and marketing company by nature. We're a development company. Everybody that works at RED has a hand in the development of this camera. Um, and it's a team effort. You know, it's a little beehive effort. So certain things have uh, missed manufacturing targets. And the EVF is one of those things that has been slower on the uptake than the rest of the camera. But as opposed to holding back the whole system, which is maybe if we were a normal company, we would have just said, we'll just wait. We'll just wait until everything's ready and tested for seven months and proven out before we release it. But the demand was so high, and our desire to get this tool out into the world, so people didn't have to feel like they could only shoot HD if they were, you know, if they didn't have a, a forty million dollar budget, budget right. um, was so strong. And the LCD that we provided when the camera started shipping is so good uh, that we decided we would wait it out. Uh, we would let the camera get out into the world, and we would hopefully catch up with the EVFs. It's been in our world, a tremendous amount of time. We are very frustrated about it. The good news is that now, finally, we are starting to catch up. The EVFs okay. are shipping. There are production models. We have them out there. They're shipping in the order of customers' reservation numbers from way back in the, in the beginning. Now we have hundreds and hundreds of cameras out all over the world, and customers are getting their EVFs. Okay. Um, we haven't filled the backlog yet, but we will. 